Hi, my name is Kelly Losey, and I'm the Communications Coordinator for the Benton County Health Department. Between Friday and Monday, Benton County reported 24 cases of COVID-19. Three people are under 20, one of them female and two of them male. 10 people are in their 20s, seven of them female and three of them male. Five people are in their 30s, one of them female and four of them male. One person is a female in her 40s. Three people are in their 50s, one of them female and two of them are male. One person is a female in her 60s and one person is a male in his 70s. None of these people are hospitalized. Today, Benton County reports 13 new cases of COVID-19. Three people are under 20, two of them female and one of them male. Eight people are in their 20s, four of them female and four of them male. One person is a female in her 40s and one person is a male in his 70s. None of these people are hospitalized. Recently, Oregon Governor Kate Brown announced updates to Oregon's school metrics. This will allow more students to return to classroom instruction with health and safety measures in place. The updated metrics reflect the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidance and lessons learned from school districts across the country to reduce the transmission of COVID-19. We understand there is concern about returning younger children to school as case numbers in Oregon are rising. A key lesson from national school data is that Oregon school districts can help protect student and staff health during in-person instruction. This is possible when community spread is low and when school districts strictly adhere to the health and safety protocols that are now in place in Oregon. This is important because schools offer many services to students and families, including nutritious meals, access to social, emotional, and mental health supports, and physical health services. Key changes to the metrics include acknowledgement that strong public health protocols in structured settings, like those in Oregon's Ready Schools Safe Learners Guidance, can greatly reduce the risk of transmission of COVID-19. Additional time for schools to transition between in-person and distance learning models. Increased access to in-person instruction at the elementary level a two-week review of metrics data rather than one week at a time over a three-week period, using county positivity rate instead of state positivity rate. You can find more information about the updated metrics and guidance for the 2020-2021 school year at the link below. Stay safe and be well.